we're going to practice designing a model for these purposes we're going to practice designing a factor analysis model we're going to design the model first after that we're going to connect to the data file then we're going to select some options for analysis run the analysis and then we are going to check the most output okay first let's draw one of the two tables first so we're going to start like this one two three okay let's get this thing right first okay so this thing is supposed to be facing like that okay so uh, we should provide some space for the words so we need to shift it to the top first Okay, let's pull this thing further away. Let's pull this further away. So, okay, so we are now happy with it. So, let's uh, create another one of these. We to select everything, we to duplicate it. So now we will duplicate and shift it to the bottom. So now we have two of these. Okay. So let's select everything again, and let's adjust the whole thing to go up to take to maximize the use of the space that we have here. Okay. So now we're going to give some names. Uh, for these two diagram, the top one is Petia. Okay, so we need to select only one. Petia. The other one is Verbal. Okay, so now we're going to create the necessary connection. Here is the covariances. Okay, so now we're going to fill up this, this, this thing with data. So file, data file. Okay, so we are going to display the data. The so for the spectral, we have the visual perception. We have the cubes. For the verbal, we have paragraph, sentence, and word name. Okay, does not look so nice right now? So let's get the whole thing to fit. Click tools, macro. Okay, much better. Okay, so how about this? Tools, macro. Okay, so now that's done. So we have created what was asked upon us, which is to emulate this table. Okay, so we're going to run the analysis, but before we run the analysis, let's do the necessary first. Okay, let's first save the, the file in case anything goes wrong. Okay, so we are going to create a special command at the bottom here so that we get the results to be displayed together with the graph so we're going to click on title okay. there's a file that was given model fitness parameter just open that file so take the bottom one there control c go to 
this place again. Okay, type in the caption. Click OK. If you're happy with it here, then it's okay. Otherwise, please adjust accordingly. Okay, so we have the analysis and we have the place for the results. So now we're going to click on analysis. So click on the analysis types. What we're going to do under output, we're going to select standard estimate, standard multiple co correlations, factor score weights. Coherences of estimates, correlation of estimates. Okay. So click accordingly. So we're going to analyze. Okay. So it's finished. Okay. Let's look at the results. The result looks like this. So you can see this is the results. To see whether the model fits, uh, to see whether the data fits the model that we that we have drawn, we should check uh, the meaning of all this. So these are the model fit measures. So you can see here there are C min, C min F, GFI, AGFI, CFI, P ratio, and RM SEA. So for the C min is a chi square test. The criteria it should be larger zero point zero five. So here this list stated the value is zero point larger zero point zero five is zero point four four eight. The relative chi square should be two or less. The relative chi square here is zero point nine two, so it is less than two. It is stated that GFI should be zero point nine five above. So GFI here is zero point nine six six, so we are okay. A GFI is supposed to be larger than zero point nine. Ours is zero point nine one zero, so we are okay. CFI is supposed to be larger than 0 0.9. Our, our value is 1. P ratio is 0 0.533. RM SEA, the value should be less than 0 0.08. And our value is 0 0.00. So we are okay. Those are the results for unstandardized estimates. Okay. So looking at the relationship at the factor loading. We seem to be okay. okay. So 0 0.61 of 1.2, 1, 1.33, 2.23. Okay. For standard estimate, these are the values for standard estimates. Okay. 